Hello Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the week of September 5th through the 11th, uh, 2021. And uh, just a heads up, we have a new moon in Virgo in your sign on the 6th. So if you're watching this on the 5th, we have a new moon in your sign tomorrow. So just a heads up on that. You can do research online. I won't go into all of what it is. Um, welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. I appreciate you all being here. If you're new, thank you so much for... Um, checking me out if you are returning thank you so much for your likes, shares and subscribes um, for your trust your support your comments I appreciate each and every one of you um, new you know new to the channel or not anything you need Virgo is in the description below if you'd like a, a personal private reading because these are general if you'd like a more specific answer to specific questions just let me know and we'll do our best and or guidance I should say and if you would like to um, again my website's there so check that out if you'd like to know the decks of cards I use they're all listed there also if you'd like to know more about astrology your moon and rising signs you can check out astro.com it's in the link also in the description there's a link so please check that out now we have decisions to make there you go that is a card of Leo the beautiful empress on the bottom of the deck this is your um, subconscious this is something you might not be aware of this is creation it's bringing forth energy it can be a card of pregnancy so a heads up if you want to be pregnant you know that's this is a definite positive card for that um, it might not be something you're aware of yet if you do not want to be um, with child then please take precautions or you don't want your partner to be with child please take precautions it's a very fruitful very fertile card a nurturing card a mother card um, it can have something to do with your your mother um, it usually brings balance and peace and um, just a general feeling of groundedness right I uh, apologize for the noise where I'm at at work, the unit next to me they're working on. So they've been banging and clanging all day. So we have the beautiful Seven of Cups card. This can be a card of confusion. There could be so many choices and decisions you have to make. It's a card of decisions. Um, it can be emotional because they're cups. So they're um, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer signs. But there, there could be... A, you know many many decisions to make where do you pick how do you pick um, confusion not really knowing um, kind of like you know this card is victory but then there's a skull so if you pick this if you achieve what you want is there going to be what price to pay you know so you think you need to think really really long and hard about what decisions you need to make what decisions need to be made what you need to move toward now we have the Hierophant you have the Hierophant and the Strength card and they are both major arcana cards which is um, and the Empress so you have three um, they are they are um, cards of lessons to life lessons to be learned um, Empress is a card of Taurus and Libra the Hierophant is a card of Taurus so there could be some Taurus you know energy here um, that could be part of and then of course strength is Leo um, the Hierophant is a tradition things done traditionally um, it can be people that you know um, a teacher or somebody to teach you or lessons learned or an order how things are done in order having that um, uh, and Virgo is very orderly having that done um, you know in a very orderly and timely manner having having to make a decision in a timely manner having to make a decision um, that uh, could be traditional something you want to do traditionally Hmm. It could be with the baby if, if there's a pregnancy. It could have something to do with that. Or it could have something, like I said, to do with the mother. But you have the strength here. So strength is also inner and outer strength. It is, you know, she's opening the lion's mouth, but she's not worried at all. And the lion's fine. Um, you know, I think it's licking her, actually. And she might not be opening, opening his mouth. I've always thought so. 
I think the lion's licking. I think she's just petting it. So you have this beautiful card of trust. You have this beautiful card of, um, again, knowing your inner strength and outer strength and being very comfortable with it. Trusting yourself. Trusting your strength. Eight is a card of power. So stepping into your power. Knowing, knowing what you want out of whatever situation. There could be many choices, but I think your mind's made up. Um, there could be confusion. There could be other people that are confused about maybe what path you're going on or what choice you're making this week. Just for example, you could be a single mom making the choice to be a single mom. And others are saying, oh, well, you can't do that. Or you could, you know, be getting married instead of being a single mom, if that's your choice. There's lessons to be learned. There's teaching moments here. Um, the Hierophant can also be a religious figure, like your priest or pastor or rabbi or, um, I don't know that many more, but along those lines, you could seek counsel with that person. They give advice. They, they teach. They show the way. Again, whatever decision it is that you have to make, there's people around to help you, but you have that, again, inner and outer strength. You have that. Um, you might not know you have it, but I think you do know. I think whatever has transpired in your past has made you stronger, Virgo. And, you know, it's an organized organization. Lots of choices, lots of decisions. And again, some come, up, some come with consequences. So make sure you cross your T's and dot your I's and make sure you know what is, um, what is what, right? Goodness gracious, I'm flipping all the cards around. Just make sure that there's no hidden, beautiful, focus. Make sure there's no hidden um, clauses or agendas. Beautiful card. All the crystals, look at that. I'm going to get it in focus. It's crystals, how they grow. Beautiful. All right. read out of the book for you very interesting week I'd love to know how this resonates if I could do my alphabet we'd be good finding everything but focus oh it's under crystal no wonders ay 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 okay the amethyst crystal cave bathed in water from the river the points of light representing the spiritual force that these crystals generate Amethyst, as well as other types of quartz crystal, have been used for thousands of years in magic and healing, as well as intensifying psychic ability. Since its violent color, violet color is the same as a crown chakra, it's often referred to as spiritual stone. So if you have an amethyst and they're very easily, readily able to come by, carry that with you this week. That might help this week coming up. That might help with your focus. It's time to bring your complete focus to the subject of your inquiry. Eliminate all distractions and give this your undivided attention, whether this is a project, relationship, or simply a relaxing, relaxing time spent walking in nature. Be fully present in the situation. This sharpening of focus will expand your awareness and allow your inner guidance to penetrate your consciousness, which can then lead to, which can then be parlayed into a appropriate action by being focused with crystal clarity you are in the flow of your life force and in fact have become one with it it is not a hyper it is not a hyper vigilant or tension filled state but one of relaxed attention keep your eyes ears and heart focused on that which you need to pay attention to and miracles can be created to paraphrase a fictional elder use the force and use it in this life enhancing way beautiful
And you know, what better life force energy than creation? This, you know, if you're not birthing a child, you're birthing a project, you're birthing some, some type of decision here. Something is going to come into fruition. Beautiful. And again, people are there to help you. There's guidance. But you have the strength. You have the willpower. You have the, um, the clarity and understanding you need. Once you can get past this, once you can make your decision. And like this says, kind of spend time with it. All right, Virgo. If you know any other Virgos that this sounds like, please feel free to share. I thank you all for watching. I um, appreciate you all so very much. Uh, please stay safe and healthy. Please take care of yourselves and each other, okay? Until next time, again, I post every Saturday for the weeklies. And I'm blessed beyond. I love what I do. So take care of each other. I will see you next time. Bye for now. Good luck to you.